Greetings, ladies and gentlefolk. We are here on this wonderful Friday for another game of basics. I'm on a Foxy account. Which one am I on? I am on Sandy B, who is a happy little 1Q. I thought we would go and see what we need to do to break, and I know there are a few of you out there, go ahead and break that divide from Q to Don level, because I know at the end of the day, all of us are just looking to get that glorious D. So, that's what we're aiming to do today. Help you guys reach good old Don level. I don't know why I'm so orange in my picture right now. I'm not going to worry about it. Let's get a game. 1033 sounds good. And we're black. I'm going to pop down a 4-4 point because it doesn't really matter what you open. As long as you got some variation of 4-4 and 3-4 stones as black, you're doing pretty good. I tend to favor 3-4 facing, that way I can go into a framework maybe, I can go for territory. Got a whole bunch of stuff I can do. Now, I have uh, this guy flashing this weird double 3-4 thing. That's fine. I'm going to approach it high. I know nowadays low is all the rage. I will. I will rage. Alright, so he's kicking me. That is technically okay. Because the AI have been all up in that kicking lately, so I can't really say it's a bad thing. This, however, I'll start saying it's a bad thing. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab an enclosure here. It allows him to get a two-space extension, but then I can grab an enclosure over here as well. So by choosing to split that way, he gave me two enclosures. He should have just gone ahead and approached one. He grabbed an enclosure. Fair play to him. I'll grab myself an extension. Now take note, you can't extend all the way over here. It used to be like the only extension we ever took for ourselves. But... Yeah, I'll do it anyway. It's kind of fallen out of fashion, but who cares? It was good enough for professionals for like forever. So it's still good for us. I mean, we're amateurs, right? Just find out if something's been played professionally. And then you can quibble on whether you should still play it. You know? So I grab a two-space extension. He does too. I kick him. And then I get first strike against his group. Perfect. It's like I just plopped down a 2-2 with haste. <laughs> Sorry. Some of you, some of you will understand that one. It's fine. It's fine. So here's an interesting move. With this move, he says, you do not get territory in that corner, sir. Now I'm going to be like, okay, you're right, I don't. For a very important reason. Never mind. Everything I was going to say is completely garbage now. I was going to say, if he played here into here, that's completely fine because we just surround him completely. But instead he cut, so we're just going to go back and kill this one then, I guess. Not really sure what he's doing now. Ooh, maybe also... Oh! Oh, you know what? I'm going to play it. I'm going to let this one be played here. I could play this one. Because if the Atari is here, I take. And then what we talked about a minute ago happens. And if he extends, I can connect. And then it has nowhere to go anyway. So I could play this one and completely counter what he's doing. But I'm, I'm going to give him a nod. Check him. Yep, the Atari. And then here... You see how he's using his force moves? I like that. That's that's how you get Don level. That's how you get to Don. Look for those forcing moves. Where are they? Make sure you don't miss them. This doesn't quite work though. Because when he plays here at Hane. Two liberties, he extends, I block, he still has two liberties. He cuts me, he goes to one liberty. He atarries me, I take. So we're a step ahead. Alright. Now, he's being a touch greed. Isn't he? I want to give him Sente again. Because I want to show you... Oh, I want him to get this move in. Like, I can play here and completely counter what he's doing. Oh, it feels... It's so bad that I got... That I can play that way, though. It feels so bad. And splitting his group is pretty strong here. If you want to get more ahead in this situation, which is always a fantastic idea... You could have taken a large point, 
and not get into a fight over here, and that would have been completely okay. Okay. What are we doing now? Here into here? Okay. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Let's go, Taylor. Ooh, bad one. He just forced me to poke at this cutting point. Mm, mm, mm. A lot of players make this mistake. You gotta, like, get this completely out of your head if you want to be a Don player. Because you could, you live back there. That's fantastic. But you don't want to live there too early. Because now I can turn around and then just cut this off too. Right? So if you can live there, that's great. But should you? A lot of Q players in particular, they're still learning if they can live somewhere. But at Don level, you need to know when you should live somewhere, right? It's kind of like I opened with a large knight. Let's say I didn't do any of this. I opened up with a large knight. Can you live back in here? Yeah, you could still live back in here. Large knight is mostly for influence because it's so open you can live back in there. But that wouldn't be your next move, right? Because it's too early. And like anyone above 10Q, anyone above 15Q very likely knows that, right? Same thing, same situation here. Could he live back in here? Looks like it. But should he have lived there right this second? And the answer to that one seems to be a no. He's hitting my stone, so I'm just responding. Starting to surround him again. And now those four stones are dead. Don't want him to hunt at the head of two and three stone. So I'm extending. So that's a great endgame on top of the board. Boom into boom. Force him to capture one stone, go underneath him. Mmm. Mmm, it's good. He's capping me. Okay. Do I need to... Res you know what? Maybe I do. I'm going to... Bam. Done. Do I have to do it? I don't know. I just asked myself the question. So on some part, I must think that I do. So I'm going to play it. All right. We still have our nice little group here. I think we're fine with it. So we're going to extend. And we're going to extend not in a wussy way where we go with one space or two space. We're going as far over as we can. That way I can think about moves like this. Does this work? Maybe. I'll take this opportunity to just defend my corner. Making myself strong like a mountain. Okay. So he's not completely connected yet, but I don't want to keep poking at it because I might be able to take advantage of that shape later, huh? So what do we do? Well, I guess we're going to go out. Maybe I can cut through here. Kill off the one stone. Build up the corner. Could be good. He apparently does not mind this. Therefore, I shall do it. Ooh, look at him trying to connect up. It's too late. See how he's disconnected now? Because he tried to save the thing that couldn't be saved? That's number two thing if you want to be a Don. You have to be brutally honest with yourself. If something failed, don't keep poking at it. You have to know when you've lost out in a situation. Because if you don't know that, and you keep playing it, it just makes matters worse. Right? Here, the minute he realized the only way to get out is to get cut off from this group, time to just sacrifice it. Time to just sack it. Now, I'm willing to invest another move here to completely surround. It'll cost me a stone, but I'm willing to pay that so we can't do any kind of weird connecty shenanigans. Now, if we wanted to go hardcore here, I would be like thinking about this and this or this and throwing in to kill. We're not going hardcore, though. Save my stone again. Cut. I can double on it because Atari into Atari into a connection. It's pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward stuff. He didn't cut me, so I'm going to connect, make sure he can't cut me back. Not doing anything complicated this game. Mmm. So smooth. 
He's trying to cut me. See? Three liberties left. I will play this one because it's Sentai. I think there's no reason not to at this point since he's obviously trying to pick up some points here. This is just a free move. It might not be a good one. I honestly don't know. Maybe that was Aji Keshi. I couldn't, I, I'm not really sure. I can block because there's Miyai. He plays here, I play here, he plays here, I play here. Actually, if he plays here and I play here, these are dead, so. He's thinking about it, though. You can feel it. If you close your eyes, you can feel what your opponent's thinking about doing. Ah, okay. It's like that wonderful movement, movement, that moment in Star Wars. You want this, don't you? Okay, so here's the question. Is that Sente? Is my corner alive? Boom, yeah it is. Is my left alive? You know it. So what is, that doesn't deserve a response. Note, hands are always off mouse between moves. Just to make sure that we don't get caught up in responding to things that you shouldn't be responding to because they are way, way, way too small. So where, where are the biggies? Where are the biggies? Well, you know, I feel like this is a thing because it threatens to surround. Gives me a few points on the left. Make sure that he can't do anything in the middle. That, that's pretty big. But we're lying to ourselves, aren't we? We know where the big moves are. We do. We do. We know where the big boys are at. I'll do it gently. I'm gonna poke at this gently. And just so, I'm not gonna try to kill him, but just so he doesn't get like two, four, six, you know, an extra six, 10 points here. I'll, I'll poke at it gently. And it's reasonable because this whole bloody thing doesn't have a single eye yet and there are multiple pokey pokes. So I'm just kind of see it, kind of, kind of curious, nailed it to see where he plays. What's he gonna do? What he gonna do? All right, sure, sure, sure. Mm. After this, I'm gonna fix myself some nice pasta for two days in a row. I, I, I have way too much pasta, not gonna lie. Ever since I was a wee lad, there are two things I've been horrifyingly addicted to, pizza and pasta. All right, so that seems to be okay. I can play into here, and T, as you can, as many of you have learned to tell. Um, There's like weird Aji in here, you know? So you know what? Like if he plays here, can I cut through? I don't know. He, if I play, that there's like this and to that, and this is a two space, this is a two space, that's a large knight. I, I don't even. I don't even. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Bam. Connected back. Just making sure. Just making sure. Oh god, that's Sente too, isn't it? Because I can play here into the throw and then he kills. Alright, that's not... Yeah, there you go. There you go. Sente for me. Now, if he plays here, I'm like, bam, done, over it. If he plays here, bam, same thing, no problem. Okay, okay. So, Sente next. Where's my next Sente move? Where are my Sente boys at? There's an invasion point over here. I'm going to drop down. It threatens some endgame over here. I'm not going to play this one yet. A lot of people do. But it's not necessarily Sente because he has a connection here. So I can play here, he plays there, I play here, and then maybe he starts poking me somewhere else. Not convinced this is actually Sente at this stage in the game. So he won't do it. Won't do it. So I'll poke. Pokey, pokey, poke. And all I'm doing right now is using my existing infrastructure to get a few more points, right? I poked at his infrastructure, got a few more points. Threatened his infrastructure, sealed off some more points. Threatening his infrastructure, maybe get a few more points. You know? It's kind of nibbling. We're just kind of nibbling right now. We're a nibbler. C 
See that? See how easy that is? Just nibbling. Just nibbling. Now, a common mistake to make is a play on this move here, because we're trying to build up this. But that gives him this one, which pushes you back and pushes you back. And then he pokes you here and pushes you back. So he gains the extra territory. He gains some force moves into here, into here. And then we realize the middle wasn't worth very much. Because remember, it's side before center. So we're going to do this one first. And then we're going to come up. And now maybe we get that. And maybe we don't. But it's much better. It's much better. I used to make that mistake. Ooh, so, so often. And then they just like pecked at me in endgame. Like, where'd my points go? They just do that to me over and over and over again. It wasn't nice, man. It wasn't nice. It was my fault. I was going side. I was going center before side. I know proverbs. I knew proverbs back then. Wasn't listening to that, was I? Nope. Not really. Not really at all. Okay. This I think probably kills him. If I play here and he plays here, I go and I cut. He has to defend this one, which means this is gonna die. So I mean that's a thing. I won't do it though. It's just cool to point out. Sente. If I get to play this one, I will theoretically make you bleed for that, maybe, if I'm in a bad mood. Connection under. I'm questioning. What's your shape here? Mmm, okay. That means this one's uh, pretty good. He can't Hane anymore. Because I can do that, and then boop, and then boop, and boop, and boop, or boop, whichever. Um, do I care about this one? If I play here, I might play here and monkey jump me. I'm not getting into it. I'm not, I'm not getting into it. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't care. Um, so there's this, but that's a ladder to me. That's interesting. So how, what's he, what's his response to that cut point? He didn't protect it, did he? If I play here, he Atari's, I extend. He Atari's, I Atari. Seems straightforward. I cut. He Atari's, I extend, and that's a ladder. Wait a minute. Yeah. This is fine, right? Because I have to ignore this. I want to cut here. This is reading. Sorry. I'm, I'm cheating right now. I'm look- yeah. I'm looking for a safe cut. He's gonna Atari me. I Atari him. And now... There's no danger in any way, shape, or form. The cut is completely sealed. You see how that worked? That was a little bit of reedy. That was that was some cheaty reedy times. But we got it. Because that one cut point. Cut point into a ladder. Cut point to a ladder. Now, without reading or counting, sorry... I know we didn't need it. This cut doesn't work because we go here, here, and then it's netted, right? It's a, it's a little, little uh, loose ladder kind of dealio right in here, so we're... It's really good. We've already protected ourselves as much as we needed to. But yeah, without reading, I know we're ahead because I can see this is worth quite a few points. This was worth quite a few points. We got a nice little corner down here. That doesn't work unless he wants to give me the two stones, which he might. Now that I think about it, this was a stupid move, and I should have played here, but I was greedy, and I didn't. I'll talk about that in endgame. Or, uh, review, sorry. He could have played here and cut off these stones. Yeah, this was a bad move. This was stupid. This this was uh, this was game-endingly dumb. Holy crap, that's actually embarrassing. Whoa. That's because my hand did not come off my mouse. I played too fast. Make sure, between moves, hand off mouse. Unless you're playing 15 second Biyomi, then, you know, have at it. But yeah, oof.
I'm offering him an exchange. It's a good one, too. It's a good exchange. You can play here, and I'll just play here. Might be a good exchange for him and not me, though, but it's an exchange. Oh! I offered you a gift, and this is how you repay me. Oh, I cannot believe it. I gave him the gift of my two stones. Remember, the ladder here can go here, and you can tar it again to here before you initiate. Okay. He has to protect the other play here, and this is cut off. So he has to play here now. He might try to play this one instead. Then we take, and then we'll Atari if he doesn't. Tell you what. Ooh, careful. <gasps> Almost messed up. Okay. No problem. Fix, because if I then liberty capture. Not, not, no bueno, no bueno, no bueno. Not sure if he read that one out properly. Yeah. Even that's a double Atari, right? But I wouldn't do that one, because if he could maybe get that cut and do something there, I'll just do this one instead. Mm-hmm. Good try, but too much wishful thinking. Too much wishful thinking. And I think now he's actually giving me more territory than was there initially, because I was just getting a couple of points. Um, I don't know. Just play this one, this one. I think I can capture anyway, don't I? No. This one have an eye. This has an eye. One eye versus no eye. I never have to capture. Right? Oh, but he's going to Atari me, dumb dumb. And then you have to fill it anyway. It doesn't really matter. Okay, that makes sense. Pretty straightforward. With, with the exception of this area here, which is a little unfortunate. Pretty straightforward game. Love straightforward games like this in the series. Oof. I am all about that. All about that. Love them. Right? Now it comes at a cost because he made this exchange. See that? Now I can play here. How about that? So I'm going to play here first. Because remember, uh, this is going to be Gote. And when I play this one, I'm going to lose this one. So I don't want to lose that one. Really? I'm a little, I'm a little surprised. Is this, maybe this was better. Maybe that was better. Maybe I should have just gone and thrown in. Hmm. Maybe. Hey man, just goes to show you. People. Some people. <laughs> I don't know who. Can make mistakes. Just doing some end game, forcey moves. That was Sentai. Um, this can die still. You play here, he plays this one, right? Because he Or this one to make sure you can't kill him. You play here, he has to play this one, and he has to give up these stones. If I play here and he saves this, then I play here, he throws in Naihane. He goes there, I go there, and this is all dead. Dun, 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 dun. So this is killable still, it looks like. Kind of hard to see. So, you know, we're just going to... We'll leave it be. We'll leave it be. We've got nothing to prove. I don't see that as being Sentai. Wait, da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. okay, not Sentai. Uh, what Sentai? Sentai, Sentai, Sentai. I can probably play this one in Sentai, because the... No, it's not Sentai. I want to, otherwise he's going like, to play this one. Because I'm not going to kill his group, he's going to get this one in Sentai. I don't know what he's going to do. He can throw in and do this kind of weird stuff, doesn't seem to go anywhere. So we're good.
I'm taking one stone in Sentai, which is why I'm doing this. Because it's one, two, three to one, two, three. His turn. He plays there. I play here now. He has Utari. My stone. Oh, yeah. And then I'll play here. All right. That was the last thing in Endgame of Sentai-ness that I saw. This isn't Sentai, because if I play there, boop, boop, and then I'm dead. Whoops, my bad. Uh, this is Goats as well. This is, I don't know, kind of Goatish. Oh, snap. Okay, that one's okay. If he plays here, we bamboo. If I play here and then I go that one. Hello? That's an Atari. Little strange. Little strange indeed. And with that, the game comes to a close. All right. Nice. So let's take a look at this game again. Um, what week is it? Yeah, not too many uh, basics days left. Let's go ahead and download it so I can throw it in my review pack. My review pack, for those who ask, is always found on Patreon at the start of every month. And it has such amazing games as this one. Okay, there we are. So, this is the game we played. Um, so, like I said, I want to say that this is a bad move, but I can't. Because a lot of the AI do tend to play this way. So, what you gonna do? Can't say it. It's the same as if I played here, right? They do play this variation. Now, the AI wouldn't really play here. They would play this one. It's a little bit better. But since they play this one, I can't completely say the other one's bad. Can't do it. Can't do it. Used to be like, that's bad. That's slow. You're letting your opponent off easy. And now it's just like, I'll, I'll go in my corner and shut up now. Thanks. So this, this, however, is bad. Um, I don't care where you play. Either the enclose or approach are really good here. I'm kind of leaning to the approach, uh, if you must know, because... Or er, the, the enclose, sorry, because... Yeah, not, not approach, enclose. I'm actually mistyping and speaking at the same time. Nice. Yeah, I like the enclose, because with this, you get points, and you threaten the extend, right? So, if I take away the extend right now, like so, whoops, <sighs> remove node, there we go, like bam, then he gets the approach anyway. And that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That is good indeed. Moving along. So here we get two enclose. That split gave black two enclosures. So good. So good. Hook me up with more of this. That was pretty straightforward. Got ourselves a kick. We get to be the first ones to attack. So that's all pretty good. Old variation. Man, I'm, ah, I used to play this way when I was like 3Q and 2Q and 1Q. We used to play this constantly. And a lowdown. That, that's, that's how far back I go with this one. Old variation. Old variation. Still, still reasonable. Give something to attack, which I can never, just, I can never turn down. 
You gotta be careful though, because ugh, not again. Gotta be careful though, because of this. If this is not working for you, beware of this ladder if you play this way. Because if this ladder doesn't work for you, then you've got to back off, right? And if you have to back off, then you've yourself just been resplit. So if your opponent came out and is fine with this, and then you split this, you're in trouble. Black's gonna be in trouble. Mm. This is why I was fine with it. If he lives in side, I surround the top. Oh yeah. You know that's good. You know that's, yo, ooh, you know, ah, I don't know that one though. You know this is good. Oh yeah. Give me more moves like this one. I will kill me some groups. You can do this, that, and then this is just gonna die. It's just gonna die. Sorry. Should have played here. This was expected. This was expected. And it's actually pretty darn good. It's pretty darn good indeed, which is why this one is what should have been played. To avoid that variation. Because if I play here, what's he gonna do? This one? Okay. That one, that's fine. Seems fine. He stays disconnected. But we gave him we gave him a pass. Gave him a pass. This is just way too early. Too early. Way too early. I mean now I get the counterattack. Oh, and that counterattack was so good. Killed me some stones. Oh. Surrounded me the right stones. So good. Everything here is so good. Normally I would say settle here, but I don't know how you do. Um, maybe you try settle weak group first? It's kind of tough. What's the score guesstimator say? White by 11. Do I agree with it? No, because this is not white points. Yeah, I disagree with this a lot. But hey, if you get that one in, that's cool. It's just, this is still a problem. Like there is no good variation here, right? Like how do you handle all of your groups under attack? Now, I wanna say here he should just get rid of his stuff, but it's tough. Should sack, but it's huge to do so. So I can see why he didn't, but there's no holding on, man. There really isn't. And yeah, here we didn't kill him, but you can see. Oh, so this should be here. It's a pretty straightforward kill, right? Like, it's the easiest kill in the history of ever. Maybe I should have killed. That's really basic. This seems like a super basic kill. So basic. So basic. Play that one right now and you're fine, though. Because this should be here. This is the proper method. This is proper. Because now he's just roasty toasty. In Gote too. Like, there's no way to get out of this, right? Roasty toasty and burnt to a crisp. I think that's about the end of that. This is why you watch your cutting points. And, oh, the best part's coming up. Boom. Was this good? I don't think so. 
play here, right? I don't know about that, man. I, yeah, I think that was dumb. I think that was dumb. There's nothing there, right? Hmm. That was a bad move on my part. Ouch. Oh, and the top, of course. Mustn't forget the top. I guess I should have started with, like, this first, maybe? Then just connect on in, huh? Anyway, good game. Good game indeed. Right, so I decided to play another game, this one on OGS, as, as you can clearly see here. But I decided to do just a review of it because the game was really straightforward. And a nice quick review, I think, in my opinion, is all that's really needed here. Because I played a 2Q, tried to get a 1Q. Didn't work out. Oh well, that's fine. I was black in this game, and he went into the Jiteki that a lot of the AI have been doing, just backing off, getting that sweet, sweet territory. That's completely fine. I disagree with it personally, because you really need to commit more moves to this side in order to actually develop anything. Because right now, where's the territory? Let's highlight the territory. That's the territory right now. And unless we extend, we don't get any of this, right? Don't get any of that. In fact, our opponent can play here. And then what? You're going to do that one too? It's not looking so great. So usually we have to commit and be like, all right, play here or something. Could have played over here. I don't care. I would have just played this one because this is alive. Mentioned it a million times. We'll mention it a million more. This is easy to live with. Nice and straightforward. Can't go wrong. And at this point, I mean, where the, where are the points? Where were, where were the points there in that variation, which I apparently have lost track of? That's okay. <laughs> so instead, what wound up happening is he attacked, I defended, includes, because he responded. He's trying to grow. I think personally, he should have played here. He had a much better game. Because he didn't enclose here and try to go for, like, large amounts of points, uh, the game was pretty much done. And this is partly why I decided to just do a review of this game. So I don't think I want to have you guys uh, sit through about 40 minutes of this game being pretty much over. Because he, I approach, right? And if he plays this way, then this is not bad, but, like, this is really small amounts of territory. This is really small amounts of territory. This is really small amounts of territory. So the question is, uh, how do you how do you continue this game? You know? Said he played here. If he does this one, I just settle. And he only has is the corner. And whatever he can squeeze out of this one. It's kind of small. He could play here. We just play lightly to get shape. So he tried to pincer us, and that really ended things. Like, we went through this cut variation, and that was pretty much it. This is isolated. I've now got a group here. This is small points. I, I mean, from there, it's just downhill. Like, he tries to poke at me. I just make shape. He pokes at me. I make shape. He pokes at me. I just make sure I defend myself. He pokes at me, I defend myself, and that's that's really about it. Tries to defend this Incente, which is cool, I like it. I like it, but it's got bad shape still, because we've got this one into this one. And then at which point is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So can I get more than 9 liberties? Uh, yeah, because we're not even surrounded. Does this do anything? No. Not really. 
That just connects up. So that'd just be game over with the group dead. Uh, the Foxy game, I think, was a little bit more interesting. This guy was very, very passive. Honey that had my four stones after I took away his territory. Because remember what I said? His victory condition was just trying to, like, make this a huge area, right? So I made sure he couldn't. Made sure he couldn't. Now, you could say, well, you would have had a much harder time if he went after that now. Uh, I mean, yes and yet, because the cut still exists. Even this is not bad. And then from here, I would probably just poke, because how do you handle this? Right? How do you, how do you handle all of this reduction? It's just not really as large as you think it is, especially if your opponent's getting more points. So we're kind of like eating this. This is only four lines. This is worth more. So it's not that much of a problem. So he didn't try to go larger. That means he got smaller. And at that point, we just have ended our corner and there's nothing he could do. Just holding on to the, our territory. That's pretty much the end of the game. Pretty much the end of the game. Nice, simple, and sweet. Took longer to go through, obviously. But I think the short review of it is probably more to the point. Let me know if I'm wrong. If you would rather have seen this game in its entirety, let me know. And I will never do this ever again. But I think keeping it short and sweet is probably better. My opinion. If I'm wrong, you'll let me know. Anyway, that's it for this wonderful basic day. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you next time. Take care, everybody.